Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of Project Pathos. Thank you very much for coming in and watching. It is much appreciated. Now guys, before we start this episode, I just wanted to let you know about a new FM schedule that I've got now in place. So as you can see guys, on Tuesday we play the Mighty Montrose on Twitch at 8pm. And then on a Wednesday is this episode, Project Pathos. And then on a Thursday uh, we play the Mighty Montrose again on Twitch at 8pm. And then on a Friday, the last episode of Project Pathos of the week. Uh, and also as well, there's going to be a competition, a giveaway every single Friday episode of Project Pathos. So what you'll have to do is you have to look through the video. I'll then pick out a question within that video. And at the end, you can put it in the comments and you can be in a draw for to win a certain prize. Now it's going to be prizes from football shirts to little pin badges. The first uh, prize is going to be, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's going to be the Pumas away shirt uh, from last season actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, I probably wore it once. Uh, it's still in amazing new condition and it's an absolute amazing shirt, an amazing shirt. So guys, that is probably gonna be the one on Friday. But guys, without further ado, you've got my new schedule there, which is much appreciated. And again, guys, if you do like what you see, it'd be much appreciated if you do hit that subscribe button and you don't miss out on a competition then every Friday. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the save today. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, it's not a problem because I'm going to give you a bit of a summary now. Now, we play two games today. We play AE Lemassol, who are currently first at the minute and absolute flying. So, as you can see, we are second at the minute. But yeah, then we play AE Lemassol and then we play Femagusta. Femagusta are currently seventh at the minute. Um, but it's going to be, listen, it's going to be a good game. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through out the tactics and then get straight into the game. So, guys, as you can see on the right hand side there, the player stats are still. Hepburn Murphy is our leading goal scorer. We've kind of mixed our leading goal scorers up a little bit. Hepburn Murphy has been injured the last two or three games, but he is still leading goal scorer with six goals. The highest average rating is still Stefan Panic with 7.29. The most assists is never on four with four assists. Uh, best pass completion is Stefan Panic again, a very important player for us at Paphos. Uh, and then the most man of match award, there's six players in total. So again, it's just a mixture of man of match awards. And the most yellow cards is Jao Aurelio. Now we have had a red card as well, as you can see. Only one red card this season up to now, which was Omni Velikari. Um but yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a very good start to the season, very good start. Now we've got a tough game coming up next, probably probably one of the toughest games we've played so far. And then we do play uh Femme Goose after it as well. So guys, I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's get to the first game and let's see how we get on. Just before we start this game against AE Lemassol, I just wanted to show you the team basically that we are playing against because they are first in the league at the minute and I think it's uh, I think it's good to show that what we're playing against basically now what i do as well is i go into the schedule of the of that team before we play and i do check that what formation they've been playing over the last over their last games basically now as you can see they've only lost two games this season so far they've drew one and then they've won the rest uh and as you can see in the little tab here called formation which you can easily set by right clicking your button go into view uh, go into insert column sorry and then clicking on opposition formation and that will bring in a nice little tab then uh, to show what formations they've been playing over the games that they've been playing. So as you can see, they do they they've been playing it constantly a four two three one wide. So with, with that in mind, and we are playing away as well. It's going to be a tough game. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I've gone with a kind of a four four one one in a way, but kind of focused down the right hand side. So I am balanced, and we've changed up a little bit as well. So we haven't got Edburn Murphy up top. We haven't got Jack Vale up top because they're currently still slightly injured. Um, but we have got Marcelo Torres up, up top, who's a, an absolute quality player. Again, on loan from Boca Juniors. It's a bit, a bit of a shame that we couldn't get Dennis Rakels in there because Rakels has been playing well, but in the last game he didn't play that well. So we are we are brought Torres in, and we've got Ford just behind him. Ford's playing absolutely fantastic at the minute. He scored an absolute belt in the last the last episode, if you've seen it, an absolute wonder strike in that 4-1 victory. Uh, but then we've got Verigade on as well. Again, another player that's in absolute amazing form at the minute so yeah that's that's the team we're going in against uh, ae lemasol against guys let's uh let's see if we can let's see if we can win something here let's see they're going down the left hand side here great tackle there from berrigate berrigate doing a bit of a defensive defensive work there they're throwing here from santos and it's away from torres Good football this, but Kusik gets it up. Velarenos, Velarenos does a little backflick there. Lovely little 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two there. 
pass it up to Torres, nothing comes of it. Here's Angulo, Angulo to four, here's Kusik, Kusik with speed, speed, can he get the ball in? Can he whip it in? He does, he pulls it back to four, and it is Moroni, four, get in there. He let. He scores from where he left off, he scored an absolute belt in the, foot in the, in the last game as well. Get in there, love a little football there from Paphos, 1-0 Paphos, away against Lenasol. That should put us top of the table as well, in, in the live table so far. Get in there, Neroni for get in there. We will take that, guys. We will take that all day long. We're the first in the league to score as well. Oh, no, Apo, uh, well have just scored as well in the fourth. Get in there. I'm absolutely buzzing with this. Okay, corner to Lemassol. Here's Torres as well. M Torres as well, actually. Well, we've got an M Torres up top. Here's Danilo for Lemassol. Kusik. Absolutely fantastic so far, Kusik. Again, we've only got that one up top at the minute, but we've, we are playing balanced. Everything seems fine at the minute. I am going to do a bit of a praise. Uh, you'll probably see at the bottom a lot of green because we are one nil up. So you should see a lot of green come on that in a minute. Unless they score. And that's a good, uh, well, well held there by Rudko. Okay, as you can see, guys, every, more or less everyone's changed there to nice green, happy faces. Morals good. Inside. And it's away and it's well away there from Agulo as well. Absolutely fantastic. Here's a throw in from Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos throws it straight to a Avram to it there. Don't know why. Can Zay Carlos get it back as well? He can't. Me skipping through and he Zay Carlos put a tackle in there actually. He's quite quite fortunate that we didn't get we didn't give away a penalty there after. Here's Marcelo Torres. Torres to Kusik. Kusik. Bit route one this, but it doesn't matter. Berry gave with a shot. Just over the bar there. Here's Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos with a long throw into Torres. And it's away there from Lemassol. Here's Ule. Ule to Danilo. Danilo on that left hand side. Zay Carlos there. Doing an absolute fantastic tracking back job. Here's Torres on the right hand side for Lemassol. Tries to pass it inside. Danilo! Guys, you cannot argue with that goal, can you? You cannot argue with that goal. It was a little bit like uh, Neuroni Fours, Navarro Fours last time, but um, what a goal that was, guys. You cannot argue with that goal. Top of the table clash here, guys. Top of the table clash. What a goal that was. Wow. Hit that so sweet. Torres into Danilo. One all. We knew it was going to come, guys. We knew it was going to come, come. There's no doubt about it. We'll stay, we'll stay as we are at the minute. I think we're playing well at the minute, so... Maybe a little, uh, little concentrate shout going out. Wow, wow. Okay, we need to look at the, uh, need to look at the getting. Are we getting stuck in? We're not yet. So let's get stuck in. Let's start getting stuck in a little bit. We are staying on feet. That was probably a, an opposite uh, op opportunity to actually get stuck in there, uh, where we just stood off. Obviously, stayed in our feet, stood stood off, and he, this uh, Julia Julia skips skips past uh, Arajora, skips past uh, Carlos as if he's not there. And it's now 2-1, a massive turnaround here. They scored two goals in quick succession there, one after the other. Okay, a little shout-out going out, a little encouraged shout going out. Here's a corner from Velarenos. Velarenos whips it in, and it's, a, it's nodded away. Here's Avram. Avram here, plays inside Ulier. Ulier, oh, and it's a goal again, guys. Wowzers, 26 minutes in. We, they have turned the table there. They have turned the table. I just want to have a look if they've changed their formation. I don't think they have. No they, have, no, they haven't changed. Oh, they have changed their formation slightly. Here's Torres. Torres to Angulo. Angulo back to Arajore. Arajore out wide to Zay Carlos. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade inside to Marcelo Torres. Torres with a shot. Oh, I was unlucky that Marcelo Torres there. Guys, it is 3 1. Wowzer. I didn't think it'd be 3 1 at this stage. Here's Velarenos. Velarenos whips it. And it's nodded away. It comes into Arajore. Get in there. It's only his second goal of the season, guys. Captain Arajore, get in there. The Finnish international. He's getting nodded away. Punching knots it back in, and it's Arajore. Love a little goal. Love a little goal. Wow, guys. What a game. This is top of the table class. That is no tomorrow. Wowzers. Lemassol. Put it away, and they've gone a bit route one. Camelo Size picks it up. Here's Camelo Size to Arajore. Rudko. Rudko with a long ball over the top to four. Doesn't come of anything, I'm afraid. Lemassol's keeper picks it up. Absolute fantastic. And it's away. Zay Carlos. 
I've just gone to key highlights just to speed up the game a little bit. Here's Kusik. Kusik to Velarenos. Velarenos over the top. Comes into Marcelo Torres. It's disallowed, guys. It is, it is me there. Put my hand up and everything. It's disallowed, though, unfortunately. Great little ball from Velarenos, but unfortunately, Torres was a an armpit offside, an armpit offside or something. Great finish off from Torres, but never mind. Guys, we're currently third in the league at the minute. We're doing okay. Uh, we, it is, it, look at this, guys. It is more like 50-50. It's an absolute undinger of a game. An undinger of a game. Wowzers. What a game there, guys. What a game. Half time, anyway. Let's go into the change room. Let's see how the lads are doing. Every, everyone looks so okay, composed, focused. I expect to see much better in the second half. No, you know what? No, definitely not. Unlucky. I think we've been doing good. Unlucky. As you can see, guys, what that's done... From what the assistant wanted me to say to what I what I've said, it's kind of motivated them a little bit. You know what? And again, I have faith in you. Uh, I'm not delighted, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. See, so motivated guys. It's three two against top of the league. You know, uh, we're doing all right. Okay, a little bit of demotivation in there, but that was just on the last press. Of, you never know what guys do with team with team uh, team talks and stuff like that. So. Anyway, guys, 52 minutes in, uh, 53 minutes in, uh, we've got Angulo on 6.4, not playing the best at the minute. We've got Berrigan on 6.7, Torres on 6.4. Maybe some changes, potentially, and that's well away there from four. Torres picks it up. Torres, unfortunately, on his own at the minute, but can he get past? And he does. Is Kusik. Plays Kusik in. Can Kusik pull it back? He tries to pull it back, and it's a corner to Papos. Come on, the boys. Zay Carlos whips it in. It's nodded away. Rosiora picks it up. No, no, uh, no highlight from it. I, it annoys me that sometimes <laughs> when an highlight don't come in. Okay, 64 minutes in. Let's have a quick look, guys. A little pause, a little quick. Guys, nine shots each, five on target from ourselves. Um, okay, the XG is not the best from both teams, to be fair. In a, in a game like this as well, where you have got nine shots each, it is a bit of a shame that the XG is not more than that. But as you can see, the possession, guys, we have turned that possession slightly. Um, everything's looking good at the minute. What I'm going to do, I am going to bring Torres off. Uh, he's playing well, you know, he's, he's doing all right. He obviously had a disallowed goal, but I am going to bring on uh, Dennis Rakels. I think he does deserve that spot, and uh, we will give him that spot on 66 minutes. Okay, 74th minute, and it's throwing in Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos, oh, he tried to find Rakels in at the near post, but uh, Vazia picked the goal, picked the ball up in net for the Lemon Sob. Here's Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos to Rakels. Here's Angulo. Angulo to Berrigade. Love little football. This is Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos. Can you whip it in? He doesn't. He goes back to Berrigade. Zay Carlos. He is. Rakels. Rakels have a double opportunity. That was a great instinct there from Rakels, but nothing came of it again. Here's Avram. Okay, we're 70 off minutes in. I'm going to. Rakels does pick it up. Rakels inside to Kusik. Kusik over to Berrigade. Berrigade. Berrigade inside, comes inside to Angulo, yes, it's Kusik, it's Oris Kusik, with his first goal of the season guys, Oris Kusik makes it free all here in this absolute undinger of a game, get in there, what a goal that was from Ber uh, Ber uh, from Kusik, Berrigade pulls it back, Kusik pulls off his man, and it's a lovely finish, bottom right back, free all guys, what a game, what a game we have here. Okay, I'm going to make a change. So we're 79, 79th minute in. Uh, it is going to be Villarenos and it is going to be Sam Hutchinson. Um, actually, what we're going to do, we're going to bring Sam Hutchinson on. But what we're going to do, we're going to put Camelo, Camelo size at left back. Um, because he is a better, he, is, he can do that job there better than Sam Hutchinson. So I am going to do that. Give him a bit of a team top. Because it is Hutchinson's debut. It, it, it is classed as his debut today because he, he's been injured. So it is classed as his debut today. So let's see if we can make a difference. You can imagine, you know, ninety minute header in the box from a corner or anything, anything like that. We're playing absolutely fantastic. Um, a little. I'm not going to praise. I'm going to do a little uh, fire up shout. Okay, and that's it, guys. That is it. That is it, guys. I am happy with that. You know, a top of the table class there. Free all. As you can see, guys, we dominated the second half. We absolutely dominated the second half. Now you can't see the full stats there, but uh, which I'm going to change actually. My, I'm in the way out again, but. Yeah, as you can see, guys, uh, nine, 13 shots to 9 in Paphos' favour. Only 7 on target out of 13. Our XG went up to 1.38. Absolutely fantastic. Possession 54% in favour of Paphos as well. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I am well happy with that. And as you can see, guys, their man of the match was Ulia. Ulia played well, to be fair, without a doubt. 
But we have a lot of green on our side as well. A lot of green, which is great. Berrigade played okay in the end. Uh, four came on. Uh, Kusik played fantastic with an eight, eight rating, which is great. Guys, free all against top of the league. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get to, to the dressing room. Let's give them a bit of a praise up. You know what? It was a great comeback. Great effort. Everyone looks good. Everyone looks motivated. Let's get to the next game. Uh, let's just see where we lie then. Hang on. Let's just go to the uh, let's just go to the um, post match interviews. So that match certainly entertained the fans, but was rather more stressful experience from the managers. You know what? It really had everything. It did. It. it I'm sure neutrals enjoyed it. I really do. Um, Obviously, you didn't like seeing your side concede goals, but surely you would admit that Danilo scored a powerful effort from 26 yards. Absolutely fantastic goal. You know what? I was I was well impressed with her. So as you can see, guys, free all. That just keeps us within that uh, automatic um, uh, European or Champions League spot uh, in fourth at the minute. We're only three points behind Lemaso. But guys, you know what? I'm very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. So guys, let's get to the next game and uh, let's see if we can try and turn that draw into a win against Femagusta. So guys, we're going into the next game now against Femagusta at home. It's going to be a good game, this one. Uh, Femagusta actually lost their last game as well. So we're going in a, we're going in with good kind of moral, really. Good moral that we could pro probably win this one, to be fair. But let's see, let's see. Uh, as you can see, guys, I've just slightly changed it again. I have brought that right back, uh, that right midfield now, uh, back down a little bit. So we are focusing still on the right because Zay Kaos is a very good winger as well as the defender. But uh, Aurelio is back now from injury. And also, as you can see, guys, Velikeri is back now from suspension as well. So punching a Velikeri in the centre, Kusik on the left. Fantastic game last game. And obviously scored the uh, the one that made us get the point. Uh, Zay Kaos on the right. We've got four just behind, Berrigade up top. But as you can see, guys, also as well, Panic. Is back now, uh, which can go in, uh, which, can, which he can play in that position again, which is great from Vela Carrier or Punchin. And also, Hepburn Murphy is back on the bench as well, guys. So, very, very strong bench as well. There is no reason really why we shouldn't really be taking three points away from this game. Lot, a lot more green on there now, not a lot more, not a lot, not a lot of concerns, uh, which I'm happy about. But yeah, guys, I'm more optimistic about this game. Uh, guys, if you do see any little bits of juttering here and everywhere, I'm just trying to figure out what that actually is. Um, the little bit of juttering when, when we score. It's, it's always when we score a goal. It must be the excitement of scoring a goal that, um, you know, maybe the excitement <laughs> that's happened. Uh, your team is amongst uh, the possession leaders in the championships, while Femagusta are not. So basically, there's a lot of indifference in this game today. Um, I think we're good enough, yeah, without a doubt. How confident are you ahead of kickoff that Pafos sit fourth in the championship farm table? Yeah, we're confident. Of course we're confident. There's nothing else but confidence in this team at the minute. Absolutely flying. Um, well, flying in terms of the team that we are, you know, in the team the position that we are. So as you can see, guys, we're currently still fourth at the minute. So I'm very happy with this, very happy with this. Okay, seven minutes in. Not a lot happening at the minute. Femigusta, I've had the better of the game so far. And it's a goal for Femigusta, guys. It is a goal from Femigusta. And it's Georgie. I'm not even going to say that name, but it's there anyway. You can see it. You can say the name. <laughs> uh, great, great front post header there uh, and it looked like it was punching on the front post there P punching not kind of I don't want to say he wasn't doing his job because he wasn't really a guy to mark but he came off that front post here's Aurelio here. Aurelio with a long throw as we've already set and it's gone straight there to Laura what I need to do there in the next in the next game is just find out you know is Berrigade getting up there you know are we thrown into Berrigade because Berrigade is good at jumping or he's quite high here's Kusik here on the left hand side Kusik back to Punchin. Is Navarro four? Navarro four to Velikari. Velikari into Kusik. Kusik. Kusik! Kusik just wide the right hand post there. Okay, so we uh, we do current, oh, we just drop now down to fifth at the minute, which is not too bad really. Okay, let's uh, let's pause it there. Nearly half an hour in. Again, no one above seven at the minute. A little shout out was going out there. A little encouraged shout. We still stay positive. And we'll see how we can get on because. We, we have started to pick it up now a little bit. As you can see, the shot's now are starting to come off. Not on target yet, but the shot's now are starting to come off. Uh, okay, we're now 39, nearly 40 minutes in. There's going to be a little demand more shout going out. Uh, I am going to go to attacking as well for the last five minutes. Just see if we can nick something. Uh, try and go in uh, even at half time. And it's not looking like it. And it's not. Okay, so it's half time. We're currently 1-0 down against Femagusta. A Femagusta side that really we should be beating. So it's going to be a dressing room of... Um, it's not going to be the best dressing room actually so uh, it's going to be a pump fist uh, come on boys it's going to be a, a, a G up it, it could be a throw bottle moment but not at this stage you know let's let's just not at this early stage in the season so let's uh, let's just try and G him up try and 
you know, we have the ability to make a difference here without a doubt. Um, I still have faith in you. Look at that. See motivated. That's what you want. You want to try and, even though you might not sometimes think it's the right thing to say, you need to think what the game is wanting you to say um, to try and change things around. That's uh, that's what they're looking to try and do. Okay, so they've started off quite well there and they're starting to get the old A's in as well, which is not good. It goes round Rudko. Rudko there just stood still. He didn't know what to do. Went round him so easy there. Okay, little uh, little demand more shout going out again. Very early stages, only five minutes in. We do need to pick it up here. Punching is on the yellow card as well. There could be a change very quickly. Probably bring Panic in. And it's over the top. And it's a great save from Rudko. What a save that is from Rudko. Okay, let's uh, let's pause that a minute, guys. Um, there's going to be a few more instructions. So we need to go a little bit more directly. Up that tempo a little bit. Let's start running defence as well. Um, let's start getting stuck in as well. Without a doubt, let's push him up. Not too many changes, but enough to uh, enough to make a difference. Also, as well, there is going to be a change, and it is going to be punching that's coming off, uh, and it is going to be Panic that's coming on. More or less a straight swap, to be fair. Let's see if we can make a difference there. Stefan Panic, great player in real life as well. Is a Carlos? Is four into Berrigade. Berrigade. too fast for Berrigade there. Could not get hold of it. Is Arajora? Arajora. Tries to find in a uh, tries to find Berrigade there, but he cannot find him. Is Camelo size to punching, punching not gone off yet. Is Vela Reynos, Vela Reynos to Kusik, Kusik with that lovely little inside roll there, playing inside Kusik with a shot. Kusik's loving them long range shots at the minute, absolutely fantastic. With that in mind, with that in mind, what I am going to do with Kusik actually, I'm going to play him as a bit of an inverted winger, a uh, bit of an inverted attacking winger. Let's just pause that a minute. That'd be that'd be good if we pause it. And also as well, tell him to shoot more often. Um, where are we? What I might have to do? I might have to push him up. Actually, there we go. Might have to push him up a little bit just to. Uh, what we're going to do actually? We're going to concentrate on that right hand, on that left hand side. Put the focus on that left hand side. Just see if we can uh, use Kusik while he's while he's. I won't say he's on massive amazing form, but while, while we're actually seeing things happening from Kusik, then why not? Let's put him in there. Okay, another little change here. Velikare is coming off for Sam Hutchinson. Sam Hutchinson can play that midfield role, defensive midfield role. And it's well there. Vela Reynos picks it up and it comes into Berrigade. Berrigade here. One on one here, Berrigade, more or less. One on one, Berrigade. And it's a poor shot there from Berrigade, I'm afraid. Okay, it's a corner here from, from Gusto and it's, it's off the line. It's Hutchinson off the line. Well done, Sam Hutchinson. Okay, we need to... Uh, and it's over the top here to Relic. And it's a lovely goal there from Rasic, sorry. It's offside though, it has been disallowed. Okay, we've got chances, we've got chances here. We've got chances. Okay. We're going with two up top. And it is going to be Edmund Murphy for Navarro on four. And it's going to be, it. yes, that's the one. That's the one we're going to do. That is the one we're going to do. Edmund Murphy now coming on. Can he make a difference there, guys? Can he make a difference? Let's uh, try and... Encourage shout. We're gonna to have to go to very attacking now with five minutes left. It's rather it's do or die basically. Do or die. Eighty eighth minute, ninetieth minute. Can we get something here, guys? Please, can we get something? That'd be much appreciated. Two minutes. Can we get something? There? It's not looking like it, and it's not, guys. It is full time. It is actually a shock defeat there from uh, for Pathos uh, against Femagusta. The guys did not turn up. The only guy that turned up really was Villarenos on seven point three. The rest of them, oh, it was a bit, oh, a bit disappointing. That to be fair, we had ten shots, only two on target, which is not the best at all. Possession wise, forty six percent. That is a bad, bad ending to this episode, guys. Guys, I just want to say thank you very much. It's appreciated because it is like a 25, 30 minute video. This, if you have watched it all the way through, that is absolutely amazing, guys. Wait until Friday where we do a free giveaway as well. Uh, but guys thank you very much if you do like it please hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well if you do like it anyway guys thank you very much it is appreciated and i'll see you on the next episode